Welcome back to Treadway Makes Drinks. And today, I'm gonna make a hundred dollar cocktail. Seems like a cash grab. No, I... So what's the story with these crazy expensive drinks that you see out in the world? Sometimes you go to a place and they'll have like a hundred dollar drink on the menu, a two hundred dollar drink, a thousand dollar drink. Usually there's some gimmicks involved. Sometimes the gimmicks are as simple as the fancy glass. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. This cocktail comes with a key to a hotel room. Every morning there's a free continental breakfast. Ooh. Gold leaf ridiculousness. But then to give you just a, a little insight into the crazy world of expensive liquors, there's whiskeys and different spirits in the world that go for thousands upon thousands of dollars at auction. These are uh, whiskeys that were distilled and bottled 100 years ago, 200 years ago. Yeah, they're hard to find now. Do they still taste good? Mm, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but you can't find out unless you spend a lot of money to buy yourself that bottle. If you wanted a mojito with Bacardi rum pre departure from Cuba to Puerto Rico, and you want Cuban Bacardi rum, well that's over 100 years old, and it's gonna cost you quite a lot of money for that super ridiculous fancy mojito. Is it gonna be worth it? Are you gonna taste the difference? But it's pretty cool to say you tasted a authentic Cuban mojito with Bacardi rum pre their shift to Puerto Rico. Up to you on how you want to spend your money. If I was tasked with the job of making someone a $100 cocktail here at Back Bar, well, I'm gonna to have to go to the top shelf. Whew. Getting cold up here at the top. Whew. Now, in order to make that $100 cocktail, I have to use Back Bar's most expensive spirit, Highland Park 25 year. Distilled in the Orkney Islands, most northern part of Scotland. A nice, beautifully aged spirit that we're gonna focus on for this cocktail. The spirit on its own has beautiful notes of honey and spice and wood and a little bit of smoke and it's just glorious on its own. And honestly, that is how I would recommend to enjoy the spirit. But you're here for that $100 cocktail. So we're gonna start with a little bit of tea. And just the tiniest bit of honey to emphasize that flavor. But we have to get one more special ingredient. Oh. This is yellow chartreuse VEP. Extra old herbal notes made by monks in France. A little hard to come by. With these things, you've almost got to the $100 mark. We charge $45 an ounce for this Highland Park, 25. For the Yellow Chartreuse VP, a half ounce would cost you like $5. So we're almost there, so I need to do a little bit of tomfoolery to get that extra $5 to make this $100 cocktail. Why don't I cut a beautiful ice sphere from this ridiculously large cut of ice. Do that again. So 
And now that I have my beautiful sphere and I have my tea steeped, Earl Grey tea, start with just a little bit of honey, minuscule quarter teaspoon of honey, and then a little bit of tea. Just a couple bar spoons, melting that honey a little bit. And now for the yellow chartreuse VEP, which is gonna add a little bit of herbaceousness mixed well with that honey and tea, as well as just some dankness. And then of course, the main event, Highland Park 25. Oh gosh. And whenever we make a cocktail with a amazing spirit like this, we will always serve just the taste on the side so you can appreciate the spirit on its own. Just slightly chill the cocktail. Of course, we need a little bit more fun. A birch coaster to add a little bit of aroma. And there you have it, a hundred dollar cocktail here at Backbar.